This is the Ruffian 190R. It's the world's only commercially available purpose-built snow bike. And today we are putting it to the test. I think this is about the most exciting package we've ever received. I mean, we, we get some exciting ones, but this one's like immediately exciting because we get to unbox it and then go have some fun immediately. This is a Ruffian snow bike. It's essentially the first production purpose-built snow bike that you can buy. So this is it, the Ruffian. So we're gonna go take it for a rip and then we'll uh, talk about all the cool features about it once we've uh, ridden it and see what it feels like. So we'll do a little walk around now, talk about what this thing is and why it's so awesome. And then of course we'll get back to more shredding. But uh, I think right here, this is this is probably one of the most awesome parts about it. That, just, you can pick it up, the whole thing. <laughs> the other most awesome thing is this. Both feet flat on the ground, comfortable riding position. The obvious thing is it's a purpose-built snow bike. So. You're not trying to stick a track and a ski onto a bike. So what that means is all of your weight is exactly where it should be, right over the track. Um, you know, and it's also way shorter between the track and the ski, so it makes it turn a lot better and, and handle a lot better. And of course, you know, having the weight here makes the uh, makes the flotation much better as well. Ruffian makes other models and they're working on full size models as well. Um, but this one's like a little 190 pit bike engine. You've got kickstart for backup, which is always a plus out in the mountains, but also you've got electric start for uh, super easiness. Also, it's got a sweet monorail track, which makes for better uh, leaning. So when you're riding on uh, hard pack, uneven surfaces, the track can just flex and it leans like a bike. Like even this thing on hard pack chunky roads compared to like basically the best snow bike you can get for a full size bike, this thing is way easier to ride. It rides, it feels like you're just still on a dirt bike. It doesn't like throw you around all weird like the full size snow bikes with the wide tracks do. And that's, that's largely due to the monorail skid here and the fact that the track can just pivot and flex on that. So that's a super awesome feature. 
Obviously it's a pit bike style engine, but like the whole thing's kind of pit bike sized. You know, after riding it for a bit, like the biggest thing is it's so nimble. Like it, because of how short the uh, distance between the ski and the track is, like it turns super sharp. And also because of how low it is, you can lean it way over and not feel like it's gonna fall on you.
so good at getting into weird predicaments. Oh yeah, this is not exactly how I expected this day to, uh, to end, but um, this bike's battery is completely toast. And so is now the battery jumper that we brought as backup. And it doesn't have a kickstart. It's electric start only. Uh, so now we're gonna tow it back with the Ruffian and try to bump start it a few times. But to add insult to injury, the gas can fell off, its lid came off, and some of the gas spilt, and also it got some snow in there. Uh, but I poured the, the gas into both bikes and they both ran fine. And then I poured the last little bit out of the tank into here so that it wouldn't slosh all over it when we were going home and there was water in the bottom of it. So the bike was idling just fine. We weren't shutting it off because of the dead battery and then it died because of the water in the gas. And then I roll started it down the hill, it died again. So we're gonna tow it with a little snow bike that could and uh, try to get it running again. And if not, we'll tow it all the way back to the truck. We're not too far out here, so yeah. <laughs>